Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and easy drawstring bag. Now I've got a drawstring in the top of this bag. I've got it stuffed up with some yarn just to show you how sort of big you can make these. I've got a couple of little spring toggles on the end. I rescued this from an old jacket. I could have been doing, you'll see at the end of the video, I could have been doing with a longer cord and maybe some bigger spring toggles but these were the ones I had and I'm recycling them so that, that's all well and good. You can just tie the end of your cord if you want and it pulls open really easy. It's a really easy stitch. I'll show you how to do the bottom and how to keep it nice and flat. Now for this one I use chunky yarn. You can use any yarn and you'll just adjust the bottom to the size. <laughs> Mutley just dropped his ball. You just adjust the bottom to the size of the knapsack or drawstring bag that you want to make. You can make these really big. You can make them all different colours. You can use them for gifts, make them smaller for wash bags. You can use them for backpacks. You can put some straps on the back and use it as a backpack if you want. It's great for kids' lunch as well if you want to make them for your children or your grandchildren for a lunch bag. Now, the one thing I did do at the top that's not on the video, I've used a UK treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. And I used a UK double crochet here. And if you're in the USA, that's a single crochet for you. After I got the length that I wanted, I put two rows of double crochet one row of treble crochet and I finished it with two rows of double crochet but when I did this part I didn't have my camera turned on but it's really easy you don't need to do these double crochet rows or the single crochet rows if you're in the USA you can just do the treble crochet up to the height you want go down one row and then you'll put your cord in. I'll show you how to put the cord in to make it into a drawstring bag like this but it's a great gift, a great gift idea, a great storage idea too if you want to make these really big. You can make them into laundry bags, you can make them into toy sacks, you can make them into, you can carry anything around in it that you want to. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You can use any yarn you want and use the hook size it tells you on your label. Now, the, you can make this round base any size that you want. So the base will depend on how wide you want your circle to be. I'm going to do a magic circle. You can do a chain of three and then join it into a little circle and work into it. But I think the magic circle is better because it makes the centre of your circle nice and tight. So put your yarn over your hand and then just cross it over like this. Just cross your yarn over and pull the yarn through into a loop. And then just hold it there and do one stitch. And this is your magic loop. So we're going to do two more stitches, one and two. And that makes a chain of three. Now into this loop I'm going to put another 11 UK treble crochets. So that will be 11 USA double crochets if you're in another country. And that chain there will make number 12. So that's my first stitch there. I'm going to put 11 more in. So yarn over and into your magic circle. So that will count as two stitches. Your chain's one, that's two, three, four. We'll do this until we have twelve. One, two, three, four. So that's eleven. One more makes twelve. So I'm going to get my tail end and I'm going to pull it tight. And that is going to close your circle off. So 
So into this chain of three, into the top, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Push your hook through, pull through, and slip. So we've got 12 stitches. What we're going to do for the next round, we're going to put two stitches into each one. We're going to double up this increase. So chain one, two, and three. Now into the same stitch where your chain is, put one more stitch. So that's two. So into the next stitch you're going to put two. Put two into each stitch all the way around and you should have 24 stitches. Two into the next one. All the way around. So I've got two stitches left and I've got 20 all the way around. So this one is 21. Put two into there. That's 22. And into my last stitch I'll put two more and that should make me 24 stitches. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain. Pull through and slip my stitch. So that's round two. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to chain three. So one, two, three. Now that's going to count as my first stitch. Into the next stitch I'm going to put two. We'll do an increase, so that's one and two. Into the next stitch we're going to put one and then we'll do an increase in the next stitch. Put two into the next stitch. We're going to do that all the way around. So we'll have one stitch and then two, one stitch, then two. So I'm at my last stitch here and I should finish on a two. I started with a one, so I've got one in that stitch and I should finish with two in this stitch. One and two. And I should have 36. We should increase by 12 each round. into that chain. So this round we've got 36. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one, two, three, and that's my first stitch. Into the next stitch we're going to put one. So now we're going to put two stitches in between our increase. So I've got one and two, and then do an increase. Put two into the next stitch. One and two. One into the next stitch and one into the next stitch. So we now have two stitches in between our increase. Increase in the next stitch. So the third one will have two. So, so we'll be increasing every third stitch. In the next row you'll increase every fourth stitch and so on until your circle is as big as you need it to be for your bag. So my next stitch is one into there. That's one. One into the second stitch and two into the third stitch. We're increasing every third stitch. So I've got three stitches left. So I've done two, my increase in this one. So one into the next one, one into the next one, and two into my last stitch, one and two. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain of three. So for this next round we're going to increase on every fourth stitch, every fourth stitch. If you want to make your base bigger, 
then you'll increase on every fifth stitch, then every sixth stitch, until your circle is big as you want the bottom of your bag to be. So we're going to chain three, one, two, so that's one stitch there, one into the next stitch, that's two, one into the third stitch, that's three, and then increase in the fourth stitch, one and two, into that fourth stitch. So on that round, we increased on the third stitch. So the way to get a nice flat one is start with 12 and double each one up into 24. Then we'll increase on every second stitch. The next row is increase on every third stitch. The next one increase on every fourth stitch and so on until it's as big as you need it. So I'll put one into the next stitch, that's one. One into the next one, that's two. One into this third stitch. And then two into the fourth stitch. One and two into the same stitch. And we'll do that all the way around. So I'll finish that round where I increased on every fourth stitch. Now, if you want to, you can make your bag bigger. You'll increase the next round on every fifth stitch. The next one will be every sixth stitch. And then increase on every seventh stitch. And so on until the base of your bag, your circle, is as big as you want it for the bag size that you're making. So I'm going to chain three. I've got one there, one, two and three. Now we're going to go around the post stitches, around this long part of the stitch. In the UK this is called a front post stitch because you're taking your hook around the front of the stitch. So yarn over and in the space and go around and through the other side of the space. Pull your yarn through and finish your stitch. Yarn over and through the space in between the stitches. You're going in the spaces between the stitches. In and around and pull your yarn through. If you're using a thick yarn, give it a little pull to keep your stitches all the same height. Do that all the way around. In the UK, this is called a front post treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, it'll be a front post double crochet. You're going around the front of the stitch. One around each one. So I've put one around each of the posts on this and as you can see look what it looks like it's made the side go up like this and you still keep a nice flat bottom so I'm going to go through my chain of three and slip stitch I'm trying to catch two pieces of yarn when I go through here Keep it all stable and slip stitch. Now all you're going to do is make the bag as tall as you want it to be. It's up to you how many rows you do. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now just put one UK treble crochet or that's a USA double crochet into each stitch through the top of your stitches. Just as normal. Now once you've done a few of these bags, you'll be able to change the stitch pattern to whatever you want. You can use double crochets, you can use half double crochets, half treble crochets, whatever stitches you want to make your bag more dense. 
So you'll do one into each stitch, slip stitch to your top of your chain, chain three and one into each stitch until your bag is as tall as you want it to be and then I'll show you how to do the drawstring around the top. So I've got the main part of my bag finished and this is all the yarn I've got left. Now because I've used a chunk of yarn it didn't take much time to do the body of this. Now I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 rows and then what I did, I used these stitches, these two rows here are UK double crochets and if you're in the USA it's two rows of single crochets. Then I put one row of the UK treble crochet which is a double crochet in the USA, then two more of the UK doubles just to give me a row where I can go in and out and put on my little straps. Now I've got these spring loaded toggles. You can go onto Amazon or do you know what? Just recycle. Do what I did. I recycled these off an old jacket and it's just the pull in. You can use anything you like. You can even use yarn twisted to do this. Now I've got these little toggles just to make it a little bit fancy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn Finish with my yarn and I'm going to pull it through that stitch. I'll get myself a darning needle and I'm going to hide it inside the bag. Just get a darning needle and we'll just put a couple of stitches in just to hold this end in. Now when you use chunky yarn and a smaller hook, it comes out quite thick and stable. Use chunky yarn. So I'm just going to go in and out a few of these stitches. Just to hide the end of my yarn. Cut that off, down there. Get all my stuff out of the way. Now what we're going to do now is, I'm going to want a drawstring at either side. I'm doing this as a double drawstring. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten out my bag and you make sure that your cords are doubled over and are slightly wider than the top of your bag. So I've got myself a safety pin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cord on this pin and I'm going to go under this one and over that one and under and over and under all the way around. Make sure you don't pull your cord right through. All the way around to my next strap, that strap that's there. Now I'll take my pin off and keep it for the other one. Take a small piece of sellotape, I'm just going to make sure I fold the end of this down so that I can get it easier the next time. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put both of these together and I'm going to sellotape it and roll it around tight and then a point then I'll get this through my little toggle 
and I should be able to pull it get trouble just means it won't come off very easily there we go just pull my toggle up take my cellar tape off and then I'm going to tie these two into a knot and when you pull this in you can pull the toggle up I'm going to pull that back down and the knot's going to stop the toggle from coming off the end to open it back up again and what we're going to do is we're going to thread the other one in from the other side so put the pin back in and we're going to go from this side and go all the way around from this side so over and under just push that one that's there already down over and under and over And we'll thread that all the way around so that one's over that one so we're going under over and under so I've got another piece of cello tape I'm going to wrap it around my ends nice and tight makes a point and I can thread it through the toggle now I should in hindsight I found something that had bigger toggles but I have recycled these off of an old jacket and it will work but you can make yours longer put it on take the cello tape off tie it in a knot. I think I will change these and put longer cords on. Tie it in a knot. Put my toggle down and there we go. We've got your two toggles and all you do it's just pull and it draws your bag closed like this absolutely brilliant and easy now you can adjust your toggles you can make your strings longer adjust your toggles a little bit and you just pull it back open and it will open up the more you draw string it and do it the easier it is there we go and that is how you make your little drawstring bag super easy really quick recycle some toggles off some maybe an old sweatshirt a jacket but get some longer ones than i have i think i'll go on amazon and i'll get some of these spring toggles and i'll get some cord if i'm going to make some other bags so it's a little easy but this is a chunky bag and i could have been doing with thicker thicker cord and bigger toggles but I can also I can take these off and replace them and use these on a different bag and it does open up as you can see up as wide as it needs to be and then you can just put all your items in there and then just drawstring it and that's it all done super easy but there you go that is how you make a drawstring sack or bag that is how you do a drawstring bag 
So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.